How to protect pets from mosquitoes. Summer is here, and you will likely be spending more time outdoors together with your family. You need to protect your family from pests and bugs this summer, and that includes your pets as well. Pests such as fleas, ticks, and mosquitoes can make your pet miserable. No one likes mosquitoes, especially your pets. Since mosquitoes carry diseases, they're also dangerous for you and your pets. Mosquitoes are more than just a nuisance, they can spread harmful diseases like West Nile virus and heartworm to your pets. You can provide your pet protection from mosquitoes by using repellents, avoiding mosquitoes, and reducing the number of mosquitoes in your yard. Welcome to The Guardian's Choice. This video will tell you how to applying protection to your animal, reducing the presence of mosquitoes, and removing water to deter breeding. Follow all the steps in this video for the best results, and don't forget to subscribe to get all the household tips and tricks you don't want to miss. Method 1. Applying protection to your animal. Number 1. Apply a pet bug spray. Pet stores do sell bug sprays formulated just for animals. If you are planning to be out for extended periods of time with your dog or other pet, find a spray that is appropriate for them and apply it to their coat according to the directions on the bottle. You may notice more flea and tick formulas than ones for mosquitoes. Look more closely at the bottle, as those sprays will sometimes guard against mosquitoes. Pick one that contains one of the following ingredients for dogs, permethrins or pyrethrins. However, if you are spraying a cat, avoid permethrins, as it's not safe for cats, pick one with pyrethrins. Number 2. Try a monthly repellent. Like the repellent you apply for fleas once a month, you can also apply a mosquito repellent this way. In fact, many repellents combine protection against both. When applying these repellents, you generally put them where your pet can't get to them, such as near the skin on the back of the neck. For dogs, one to try is K9 Advantix. However, this repellent should be kept away from cats, as it's toxic to them. If your cat does eat some of it, such as licking it off the dog, take your cat to the vet immediately. You may not be able to find this type of product for a cat that also covers mosquitoes, so stick to sprays or wipes. Number 3. Consider Lemon Eucalyptus Spray. This spray is a natural remedy made from lemon eucalyptus oil, which can help prevent bites. It's at least as effective as DEET sprays, and it can be used for humans, dogs, and cats. However, be sure to get one specially formulated for your pet to make sure it's safe for them. Many commercial sprays contain the chemical DEET, which is a chemical that makes it harder for bugs to catch your scent. DEET is one of the main ingredients recommended by the government for use in bug sprays, for humans, not animals. For instance, it's sometimes placed in a holder on the pet's collar. That way, they can't eat it, and it doesn't touch their skin. Number 4. Consider a combination of soybean and geranium oils. Similar to lemon eucalyptus spray, a combination of soybean and geranium oils can be an effective repellent. It comes in a close second to lemon eucalyptus in effectiveness and is safe for most pets. Look for a brand such as Pet Fresh Bite Blocker. Number 5. Try Citrus. Citrus is a natural mosquito repellent. You can boil citrus, such as lemons, in a ratio of 3 lemons to 2 cups of water. You only need to boil it for a minute or so, then take it off and let it sit for an hour. Strain the mixture and spray it on your animal. You can also just cut open citrus and rub it on your animal's fur. Avoid spraying the animal in the face. You can just rub it in instead. Don't spray or rub citrus into an open sore or cut. This treatment is safe for both dogs and cats. Number 6. Skip bug spray made for humans. Bug spray for humans isn't safe to use on pets, particularly since most pets lick their own coats. You don't want them ingesting bug spray, as most contain DEET. Even if they don't ingest it, it can cause problems for your animal, including seizures and skin irritation. Also, try to keep your pets away when you spray it on yourself. It can also cause harm if they lick it off of you. 
Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Reducing the presence of mosquitoes. Number 1. Do a barrier check of your house. Mosquitoes can easily get into your house if there are cracks in your window frames or holes in your screens, if you open the windows. Therefore, check around your house to make sure you're not letting them inside through these areas. You can get a professional to put in new ones, or you can even just repair small holes with tape. Number 2. Walk your dog when the mosquitoes aren't out. When walking your pet, pick times when mosquitoes are less active. Generally, you want to avoid the times around sunrise and sunset, as that's when the mosquitoes are out and biting. Number 3. Add bird and bat houses to your yard. Both birds and bats enjoy munching on mosquitoes. Therefore, inviting them into your yard can help hold down the mosquito population. Both bird and bat houses will encourage the animals to come around. Number 4. Turn down the light. As you probably know, light attracts bugs. It's no different with mosquitoes, so the more light you have around, the more mosquitoes you'll attract. Try to cut down on light around your house at night if you can, particularly outside light. One option is to use motion-detecting outdoor lights in some areas, so they're only on when you need them. Number 5. Try a mosquito trap. Mosquito traps are designed to attract mosquitoes to them, usually using things like scent, vibration, and other lures. Once the mosquitoes are near, the machine sucks them in with a vacuum, removing them from the yard. Number 6. Use citronella. Citronella candles and torches, as well as sandalwood products, can help reduce the mosquitoes around your house. However, they won't work in when it's windy, this method relies on repelling mosquitoes with the scent in the air, and the wind blows the scent away. You can also use citronella coils, which create smoke once you light them. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Removing water to deter breeding. Number 1. Drain any standing water. Standing water is a breeding ground for mosquitoes, so it's best to remove water from your yard if possible. Bird baths, empty pots, and tin cans that fill with water can lead to more mosquitoes, so be vigilant about draining these areas. If you want to keep your bird bath, try changing out the water once a week. Also, look for anything that collects water, such as empty pots or small dishes. Try to remove these from around your house. In addition, fill in any potholes in your driveway or sidewalks, as well as holes in your yard. Kitty swimming pools and pet bowls can also breed mosquitoes. If you have a water dish for your dog outside, make sure to change it daily. Be sure to check around air conditioning units and faucets for standing water. Also, check flat roof spaces. Number 2. Be sure to treat swimming pools. If you keep swimming pools clean and flowing with the proper chemical balance, they shouldn't breed mosquitoes. Therefore, make sure to keep your pool maintained even when you're not using it. Also, make sure to check the cover doesn't collect water. Number 3. Use a product with methoprene for low-lying areas. If an area of your yard naturally collects water, you may not be able to drain the water. Instead, use a product that contains methoprene, as these products inhibit the growth of mosquitoes. Spray the product in the area to help keep mosquitoes from breeding. If it's your grass or garden that's not draining, try aerating it so it drains better. Number 4. Treat ponds to prevent breeding. If you enjoy having a small pond on your property, you need to treat it properly to stop mosquito growth. One option is adding a waterfall or fountain to help keep the water moving, making it more difficult for mosquitoes to breed. You can also add fish that enjoy eating mosquitoes, such as koi, goldfish, and mosquito fish. Another option is adding a biorational larvicide. While these products will kill off the mosquitoes, they won't harm the plants or fish in the area. Look for products such as mosquito dunks or microblift liquid mosquito control.
Number 5. Clean out your gutters. You may not think about your rain gutters much. However, if you have leaves or other items clogging up your gutters, you could have standing water up there. It's best to get up there and clean them or have someone come and do it for you to help keep mosquitoes from breeding. Number 6. Check tarps. If you have tarps or other clothes covering anything near your home, check to make sure they aren't collecting water. If they are, try to move them around so the water won't collect, as they'll breed mosquitoes, too. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Warnings 1. Mosquitoes can pass heartworms to your animal if they've already bitten an infected animal, which is one reason to protect your animal from bites. Ask your vet about heartworm prevention, particularly for animals that spend time outdoors. Choose the method that works best for you and your situation, and help to reduce mosquito infestation. Follow this channel, to learn many more household tips, tricks, and life hacks like this. If you have other tips, please share them with us in the comments. Hope you enjoy, see you in the next video.